Ladies and gentlemen, surprise! Oh, yawn. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting to see a New Leaf Diaries video today. How are you all doing? I am doing a lot better. Thank you very much for asking. La la la. Hi, Dale. How are you? Well, I'm kind of battling a cold, but I'm almost over it. Recently, I found myself wishing I could write a letter that reminds someone of a song. Okay, here goes. I hope you enjoy my melody of words. La la la. Fauna. Aha. Uh -huh. So, why am I doing a New Leaf Diaries video right now? today. Well, I'll tell you why. Uh, it's because I feel bad. Well, well actually, I'm feeling a lot better, <laughs> um, but I'm feeling bad for not producing videos late, uh, lately. And, uh, oh, ice cream van. You can hear the ice cream van. Uh, there's one that circles around uh, my house. Well, n not, not circles around my house, like, personally, but, like, the sort of residential estate, I guess you could call it, behind my house. And, um, you know, circling around kind of makes it sound a bit strange, so I apologize. Um, uh, you may tell I am still a little bit sick. Uh, basically, what happened is uh, I got some sort of bug which completely destroyed my throat. Uh, but I seem to be a lot better now in that department. Um, really, all that's left over is this sort of blocked up, congested blech, uh, sort of sound, which is what you can currently hear. Um, so I don't sound a lot better, uh, but I feel a lot, lot better. And um, I know we've only just started the video, <laughs> but I'm going to go straight ahead and go with the, the comment of the episode, uh, because I didn't do one last episode, and I feel bad for that as well. Anyway, uh, as I'm sort of running around doing this, I will read it out, and it says... <clears throat> excuse me, let me get my, my reading voice on. It says... Do you think you could do an episode where you focus on villagers more? And maybe go to Main Street, as when was the last time you ever went there? Also, visiting someone over Wi-Fi would be good. Going to the island and doing some tours. Visiting a dream town. I hope I'm not the only one that's getting a little tired with the commentary just about flowers. I really like you to, uh, and I really like to keep watching you, so I hope you read this and maybe spice up your Wednesday videos. So, we are going to be doing 90% of those things today. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> so basically, yeah, I agree. The The videos have been mainly flowers in the town because I've been wanting to finish up um, the, 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 the town, but uh, there's only so much you can do. Um, you know, getting four flowers per day, and especially days like today when it's raining, um, you can't really do too much, or you can't really make too much progress uh, in a week. Also, the way I'm spicing up my Wednesday videos is by not doing one. It's on a Tuesday instead. Um... <laughs> So there you go. Check mark number one. I was checking to make sure that we haven't uh, got a, a uh, what's it called, the, uh, the cedar tree sapling. But there isn't one there, so I will ignore it. I need to get some more hydrangeas. And actually, I'm going to get that uh, sweet olive shoot. Uh, there's one thing in my, my house which I've never figured out. And that is what I'm going to put in the basement. And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to put uh, one of the Gracie series in my basement. So let's go take a look and see which one's currently on. I think it may be the, the cards. Um, hi, Timmy. How's it going? Um, let's see what they've got. Oh, it's Bam. Hi, Bam. The massage chair. Two pieces of wooden modern furniture. That's interesting. Um, but also, check mark number two. We've gone to Main Street. Da 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 da. Um, and, oh no, it is the Gracie series. I do quite like this series, so I might try and collect it all. Let me just take a quick drink. Mm. Yeah, I might try and collect all this furniture and put it in my, my basement. Because, um, <clears throat> why no? Because at the moment I have like the museum floor and walls in the basement. And I quite like that. Maybe that will be my back room, because uh, if you didn't know, I haven't been in my house for a very long time. Uh, my main room is the cabin series, and it's got a lot of junk in it. Uh, my upstairs room is my bedroom, and it doesn't have sort of like a set theme. Um, again, it's just sort of junk I really like and sort of organized how I like it. Um, the basement, as I said, there's nothing in there at all. Also, there's not really much else I can do in uh, Main Street. Let's go to Club LOL. I don't have any fruit, so I can't get a joke from Shrunk. We'll do that. We'll do that before we finish the episode. Um, yeah, uh, my... my um, my upstairs room doesn't have a theme, it's just sort of a mishmash. Uh, my left-hand side room is going to be the kitchen when it's finished. Right side room is going to be the Cabana series, um, which is really hard to collect. Yoink, you're in the wrong place. 
and you're going to get destroyed eventually. I'm not actually going to run you over right now, but I will. Um, yeah, the right-hand room is the Cabana series. Um, <laughs> collecting the full Cabana series is going to be a real chore, especially the, um, the wallpaper and flooring, because apparently that is very, very difficult to get. Also, uh, something I want to show off quickly before we carry on, uh, I do have, you may have clocked it, a ninth villager in town again. Jamie helped me get her. Thank you very much, Jamie. And she's not in at the moment. It is Whitney. She's apparently out somewhere. Uh, let's go check and make sure if she's not in the roost, because that would be kind of cool. We haven't been in the roost recently. And by recently, I mean about a year. <laughs> um, also, yeah, uh, I'm not going to mention the F word, but um, these ones haven't been finished yet, just saying. You know, there's, there's only so much progress you can make. Just saying, just saying. Mm-hmm. Water, water. Let's all have a drink. Anyone in here? Nope. <coughs> Excuse me. That wasn't a cough because I'm ill. That was a throat clearing, okay? Deal with it. I'm not ill anymore. I'm just a bit clogged up. Hey, Rudy. How's it going? What's up? This range is bundled up. Clearly the sun needs a little pep talk today. Mush, what can I help you with? What's the latest, Rudy, huh? Yesterday I was dancing to the rhythm of Bangra while eating Tora... Oh, I missed that word. Do you think I accidentally created a rain dance? It's rain my fault. It is, Rudy. It is. Lobo, what's up, bro? Low bro. Are you running around in the rain like you're all carefree and stuff? What? You love the rain? Hmm, well, whatever floats your boat. Tasty. So what's up? I want to chat, Lobo. And I'll have a big favour. I need you to ask. Come on, can you help me out here? I have an upset stomach. It's not improving. I think I feel better if I eat some fruit. I shall bring you some fruit, Lobo. <laughs> I legitimately went to call him Lobro. <sighs> hey Phoebe, how's it going? Hey Dale, nice to see you Sparky, so is there something you need from me? What's the latest Phoebe, give me all the gossip. Hey I got a job for you, will, will you bury a time capture for me? See how it's good luck to get someone else to bury it for you. This might surprise you, but I'm actually pretty superstitious. But if you do it for me, will not you? Bury it? Yeah sure, I'll bury it for you. Counting on you, see this is check mark number three, I think. Or is it number four? Uh, hang on, let's see. We're, we're spicing up the Wednesday video by doing it on a Tuesday. Uh, we've been to Main Street. That's check mark number two. Check mark number three is we're doing villager requests. Uh, I guess check mark number four is that we didn't mention the F word, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so let's bury this time capsule. And while we're down here, we may as well get some fruit. Because uh, I want to get two. Uh, unfortunately, the one thing we're not going to be able to do together is. Um, uh, Wi-Fi, basically because I use a different console to record than um, than what I use uh, to play. Uh, I don't have the ability to um, Wi-Fi with people. Um, I guess I could, but I would lose my dream, uh, my my dream, da the little, my dream town settings. Um, uh, yeah, there you are. Uh, what? You think the rain doesn't bother me? Let's just say sometimes the best protection from the rain is good means of the stair. Do you need something? I buried it, Phoebe. I did it. Thank you. Now we just need to wait for the right day to do it back out. Remember, this is our little secret. Definitely not in the spot where I always bury time capsules. It's about how about this rain? I just want to take each drop and punch its rainy nose. Did you need something? I brought some fruit, low bro. How's it going? We'll give you some coconut. How about that, huh? Coconutty for all that. Hey, hey, what do you think you're trying to pull? If I bit into this, I'd bust my drawings to Here, take a back taste. You don't want the. Ah, my drawings aren't really that strong, so I'd appreciate if you just bring me the fruit next time. Wait, did you. Did you get rid of the quest? You did, I got rid of the quest. I thought you could eat coconuts. I can eat coconuts. So, you learn something new every day. Humans can eat coconut straight up, but wolves cannot. You know, they can crush bones with their jaws, but apparently they can't eat coconuts. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a trip to the island and do a tour because that was on list number... Well, that was another check mark. Um, so that'll be check mark number four. Um, no one, we're not going to go see anyone. Um, we'll stuff. No, yeah, probably still be back. We're not going to listen to Captain Song on the way there, but we are going to listen to it on the way back. <laughs> um, I hope I'm not the only one. Sorry, I'm just reading all the comments again. I'm, I'm reading the comments again to see what else we can do on this list. Um, visiting a dream town. Again, I can't visit a dream town uh, because I would lose my data for my 
dream town if that makes sense it would give me a new code and all of the episodes the almost 100 episodes um the dream code in those episodes would be wrong and i'd have to change it all and it would be a humongous pain in the ruckus what's this oh, mermaid it's always mermaid it's never it's never um what's the word it's never red hibiscus i think i need one of those I think I need two of those. I'm pretty sure I need two of those. Uh, for the bit near near the Zen Garden. Yeah, I think I'm right. Uh, so let's do a tour. Let's see what we have available to us. Uh, go on a tour. Yes, let's do it. For choice, where would you like to tour? Uh, so we've got fishing, we've got f um, item matching labyrinth. The scavenger tour. Now, I'm going to do the scavenger tour because I believe this is the fastest way to get mail not mail um, medals <laughs> um, because everyone says that the uh, like the tuna catching or the dragonfly catching ones are the best to do because you get the most medals but with the scavenger one I think you can get more medals or because it takes a lot less time with with the other ones you have to do it for the full five minutes um, and with this one you just have to find three pieces of furniture uh, in under six minutes, and you can cut it, cut the time out, if that makes sense. Um, if you, I usually take about three minutes to do this, so and you get 16 medals, not 20. So let's check the list. We need a country guitar, a cello, and a coconut palm. Should be fairly easy to find. Uh, the coconut palm stand out, and uh, cello stands out quite well. And what was the other one? Country guitar. That could be the only problem um, because of the color. Uh, okay, so that's a coconut palm straight there, I believe. No, it's not, because it's not coconut. It's a Dracenia. Damn it. Uh, but that's a, coconut, uh, that's a country guitar, right? Yeah, it is. Um, nothing else here. Okay, so we need the coconut palm, and we need the cello. Easy peasy. Lemon pie. Um, so, <laughs> as I was saying, I, I believe that the Elite Scavenger Tour is the best one to get medals for. You don't get quite as many medals for doing it quickly. Um... That looks like it could be a coconut palm. One of these two do, anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, Patria, fan palm. Dang it! Um, but yeah, it takes maybe like three minutes to go around and check all of them. Um, and you get 16 medals, as opposed to doing 20 medals, or getting 20 medals in five minutes. See what I'm putting down there? Yeah. Uh, let's go this way. Check this one house over here. Um, because with this one, yeah, you get six minutes on the clock, but if you finish it under six minutes, you can quit the tour and go home and claim your your 16 medals. So, just saying, you know, just I think this one's quicker and better. Uh, that looks like a coconut palm, I do believe, and that's a violin. Coconut palm. So there's only three items to get, and you know, it's it's easy. Come on now, it's easy to do. Mhm. Mm okay, so we got two houses over there. I mean, I got quite lucky with this layout because uh, four of the houses are all bunched up. Well, you know, two have two of the houses are bunched up, and two other houses are bunched up too. Mm, bit of water, bit of water. So we're just looking for a cello now. Not in here because there's a big drum. So usually in uh, each house you'll get like one from a specific series of like bonsai trees or fam uh, or palm trees, uh, totem poles, uh, posts, uh, drums or instruments, stuff like that. So it should be in this one. I've messed up somehow. Did I? Was that violin really the cello? Did I mess up that badly? <laughs> I thought that was a violin. I thought cellos are quite big. Ah, oh, you see, I've completely ruined my whole point about this being the quickest way of getting um, uh, items or medals, even. Ah, oh, I can't believe that. I could have sworn this was a violin and not a cello. Apparently I don't know my uh, my instruments. Maybe this is a cello. No, it's a violin! So did I miss the cello somehow? Was it in the first house? I don't think it was in the first house, because in this house we just got the coconut palm. Oops, go back this way. I can't believe I missed that, but as you can see, like it took like three minutes maybe to go around and collecting, uh, or to check every single house. If, so if you know what you're looking for, it doesn't take too long. I can't believe I missed that. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How did I miss a cello? Maybe it was hiding behind another right. 
There it is. Okay, we should get back before uh, under the two minute mark, so that's good. Um, but as you can see, you know, we're going to get 16 medals anyway. I'm not quite sure what the cutoff point is from getting a gold to a silver ranking in this. I, I'd imagine sort of like a two minute mark. Deep, deep, deep. <laughs> you did it, Sprout. You found all the furniture on your list. Yeah, I did. Because I'm the best. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure you had it in you, but I guess that you were, uh, I was wrong. Your performance has earned you a gold totem of, of all the 16 medals. See? In sort of like three and a half minutes, 16 medals. I would say that this Elite Scavenger Tour is the quickest way of getting medals because you don't have to do the whole five or six minutes. Uh, there uh, you go. So, uh, we are now going to go home and listen back, or, or listen, whoops, and listen to good old Cap'n. Good old Cap'n. Uh, and uh, before we end, we are going to do something else as well. Sorry to see you go, come on back sometime, and uh, check off everything on our list. So uh, I'm going to be quiet and let you listen to Cap'n Song rather than my congested yapping. terrible but I don't care I'll do it anyway yar we be here oh good grief <laughs> um, so there's one more thing we're gonna do before we end today's episode of I'm not quite sure what to call it we've done we've done loads of things today I mean we we visited Main Street we 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 went to oh, we did some shopping at Main Street kind of we, we got some stuff we went to the island and did the scavenger tour we also did a couple of villager requests even though Lobo refused to eat the coconut, so I just ate it for him. Um, and the only other thing I can think of us doing around in Main Street right now is uh, by going to Shrunk. See Shrunk? Good club, lol. It is Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday today, so it's, we're not going to run accidentally run in on KK Slider. So <laughs> uh, we will give Shrunk some fruit and see a performance. And that's how we're going to end today's episode, like we used to end it in the good old days. Is that something you needed? I brought a snack. Oh, really? That makes me so happy. What did you bring me? Now, are you going to eat a coconut? Because I can eat a coconut with Lobo Khan. Oh, what do we have here? Aha, it's a coconut. What'd you say, huh? A coconut? Don't mind if I do. All right. Woo, that's quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Hmm. Then how about I tell you a really good joke today? All right, I have to go ready first, so you just wait right here and... Sec, let's hang on, yeah. I'm here. Hey, Shrunk, buddy, how's it going? You gonna give us a performance? Thank you, thank you, Dr. Shrunk's in the house. My glee joke is just a thing to cure what ails you. You know, I'm so happy right now because I remembered something that happened a while back. Well, I know what happened? I had my palm read and the fortune teller said to me, Shrunk, your palm tells me much. You are very daring. I was happy to hear that, so I began dancing around. Then I said to her, tell me more, please. She said, Shrunk, I can see that no one laughs at your jokes. Still, you go on stage every day. Shrunk, it's so daring to be as unfunny as you are. Can you believe it? That made me the most daring comic in the biz. Yeah, right. Ah, <laughs> so yeah, what do you think? I think it's the first time you've heard my glee joke, so you can now add uh, one more joke to your joke book. Use that joke book of yours to bust out your glee ability and develop your comedic skills. So, I'm going to... I'm just going to add that as a fifth checkpoint to our list, even though it wasn't included in the specifications. But that is checkpoint number five. We got a, a new joke from Dr. Shrunk. There you go. So, so we went to Main Street. Um, we, we went to the island. Uh, we did some villager requests. We got a joke from Dr. Shrunk. And all of that we did without other... You know, just doing, doing the F word, too much of that. Because uh, we did a little bit, but not too much. Anyway, <laughs> that's going to do it. Oh, yeah, and we did it on a Tuesday instead of a Wednesday. How about that, huh? 
breaking the mold right there even though i said i was breaking the mold last episode that was the title of last episode anyway that's gonna do it for today guys thank you very very much for watching and uh what i'm gonna do next or while i wait for next week's episode is uh grow some more flowers oh no i said the f word that wasn't completely planned or anything i'm sorry um so yeah thank you very much for watching uh leave uh what um we well we just had the joke about being gleeful so uh uh we're gonna use the word happy as our comments of the episode today the word happy so uh Leave the word happy somewhere in your comments. Let me know that you made it all the way through to the end of the episode. And um, I shall say thank you very much for watching. And I'm hoping that our new villager will be in here. Because this is the only place I can think of. Nope. Hi, Reese. How's it going? Anyway, I guess this is a place we don't visit very often. Thank you all very much for watching. Again, use the word happy or some variant like happily. Uh, somewhere in your comments to let me know that you made it all the way through to the end of the episode This has been a long one hasn't it like 25 minutes and I shall say uh, thank you uh, very much for watching And I of course will see you all in the next episode. Thanks again and goodbye